on the segment we have for Valentine's, Chef Peter Milan. Uh, he is a, well, of course, he's not no, no stranger to Breakfast Daily, um, but he's the group executive chef for Fiesta Hotels and Residences. Good morning, Peter. Good morning. How are you doing? Morning. It's good to have you. Yes, thank now, you. Now, happy Valentine's Day to you. Thank you very much. Okay. And congratulations are in order. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you, Chef. <laughs> now, you if you much. missed it, if you missed it, um, <laughs> Chef Peter uh, was in Stuttgart, Germany, for the IKA Culinary Olympics. And guess what? He came back with a medal. <laughs> Tell us about what happened. It was just an amazing experience. Uh, I never um, expected it. I really went the first time for the experience mm. and to bring back uh, the, the skill set okay. to, for us to, you to know, build develop, on. develop yeah. on it. Yeah. But and it, it was quite challenging. I mean, uh, I was there. Uh, we were a very small team. It was just Ines and myself, my yeah. assistant at Wentworth. Uh, a, a mom and aunt came and joined us a little bit later. So at least, at least we were about four, four. Africans <laughs> there. And it was uh, all, all these other people from around the world. And uh, it, was, it, was, it was a challenge to make people understand African mm. flavors. But I mean, that is why we need to compete in mm -hmm. this kind of competitions. Mm -hmm. And it was an uh, absolute surprise when they announced the bronze medal. So I was just wow. like, wow, wow. Uh, we need to go, go on mm -hmm. this and the uh, wow. world is ready for Africa mm -hmm. fire. Beautiful, right, right, right. beautiful. But you brought, uh, you, you came up with your certificate and your your plaque as well. Yes, yes, okay, yes. I just okay. brought everything uh, beautiful. together there. Yeah, so here's the, I don't know if you guys want to see it. Yes, yeah, yeah, of course. This is the official uh, evidence. <laughs> uh, yeah, say. so it's not just uh, about saying that ooh. it happened. It yes, actually yes. happened. Yes, yeah. This is it. There this have is it. beautiful. <laughs> All right. So it says the German Chefs Association and the International Jury of the IKA Colonial Olympics present this award in recognition of outstanding achievements. Petrus Jacobus Peter Milan, South Africa <laughs> Colonial Art. And it says here, a bronze, bronze medal. Wow, <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Beautiful, you very much. beautiful, beautiful. So, beautiful. yeah, and I think the, the big question that I get back at home, why mm. they say South Africa? So let me just mm. explain it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a South African passport, yeah. and that's the reason why it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's dedicated that. But the mm -hmm. food, and even if you look at the flag mm. that was on yeah. the table, it was all Ghanaian, yeah. and everything on the on, on that. So it was, a, it, was a ex it was such a pleasant experience for the first time for West African food mm. yeah. to be showcased there. Yeah. But yeah, next Next time, hopefully, the government will send me with a gun and <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so today is Val's Day. Yes. What are we going to do for Val's Day? Okay, so uh, when I was speaking about this, I'm like, if, if I'm ever, if there's a chance to yeah. be a little bit romantic, and I, I used to be a hopeless romantic, I like, uh, I, I like snacking. Okay. Right. You know, not a big meal, yeah. you know, platter type yeah, of thing, yeah, food yeah, and what. Yeah. So I just called it, let's just call it Ula La Bites. Okay. And uh, just uh, something quick that you can do at home uh, okay. today if you didn't think of anything. Mm. Or during the week, I mean the whole week, yeah, it's Valentine's, exactly. right? Okay, so the first one we're going to do, let's start with the sweet one. Okay. And uh, I just have the small little platters. You can obviously use whatever you have. Okay. And then this is just a coconut biscuit. Okay. That we just crumbed. Okay. Uh, you can use any store bought one that you have doesn't need to be uh, you know specifically it doesn't baked. have to be coconut uh, yes. it could be any biscuit any right? biscuit right. just okay. for a little bit of a crunch and then we took some watermelon mm. and just took a, a little heart shape okay mm -hmm. like that okay yeah. a heart shape watermelon. Yeah. that's our <laughs> valentine's watermelon yes just like that and we just cut it out okay Place it on that, so it almost looks like a, a heart on the beach, right? I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah the, the, heart the heart on the white side. Yeah. 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 Yes. And then we have this little beautiful puppets. Puppets, yeah. With. Right, and now very easy. A little bit of condensed milk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, lemon juice. Oh. I'm just gonna add that to that. Lemon and juice this is, and condensed milk. This is gonna so create an instant curd. Yeah, I can imagine that. Yes, it's gonna yeah. pick oh, yeah. it up. It's so gonna be like acid, a curd acid, acid. Yes, yeah. almost like a, a lemon meringue yeah. flavor yeah. that you have in there. And uh, before it starts setting, we're gonna just quickly take, because of the chemical reaction that happens inside, right? Mm -hmm. It's gonna get nice and thick. So we're just gonna Use suck it up. Use the pipette, yeah. Yeah. 
just to get a little bit of extra sweetness mm -hmm. okay. to go on there. Wow. And this is our little uh, love venom. Okay. On the heart, right? <laughs> so, okay. You're, yeah. Yeah. so you're playing cool Inject today. love potion just into. Gotta inject it in there. Ooh. Right. So you can, on your own preference, put more oh, hey. or, or less. Yeah. Uh, let's get another one going in there. And we're just gonna put it inside our little heart. Okay, and that's so easy. And uh, these puppets are available in a couple of bike shops in, in Accra. Okay. So they're not difficult to get. And you can always use it, uh, reuse it. I normally use it in the restaurant. We put in or, uh, chili extract. Okay. Yeah. So if someone wants a little bit more heat on their food. Oh, so okay. they're very versatile and just okay. brings a little bit of a... Wow, this so is interesting. This is our first part okay. of our ulala la bites. Okay. Okay. okay, okay, I like it. And now we're wow. going to do our savory and our savory is so easy i just took some a normal cucumber uh -huh. and we just use a peeler and we just peeled it from that yeah. side and okay. we left it a little bit in water mm. and what happens to cucumber when it stays in water it start, becomes like almost like a glass of right. Right. Uh -huh. clear so we just got to take two of them okay get the green side to the top when you have your two lines there we're just going to turn it around okay and then okay. i, I pre-cooked some prawns this morning just in a little bit of water garlic yeah. and uh, a little bit of shito yeah. and spice mm -hmm. okay okay we just got to place that inside there i'm going to add a little dollop of cream cheese wow. in there right and then all that i'm going to do is i'm just going to give it a fold roll it wow roll it okay place that one on the side and then come to my little uh, chinese spoon here so what i'm going to do is take just a little bit of hummus that you can okay. buy at any yeah. store. Okay. Or you can make your well, own. You can make so it with chickpeas, yeah? Just chickpeas. Yeah, just chickpeas. Tahini, a little bit of olive oil, mm. garlic. Okay. I'm just gonna put a dash of olive oil on it. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna take this wrap. Put, put that on top. Now that looks super Ooh. healthy. If it starts opening like this, you can yeah. just take a toothpick. And put it in, stick it in there. Yeah. You're good. Wow. On that side, okay. And now we're just gonna take a little bit of zatar. So store-bought zatar. What's zatar? Zatar is just a, it's a Lebanese spice. It's common, commonly found at most of our supermarkets. Yeah. Mm. It's very, very nice. It's got a, a little pungent flavor of thyme and sesame seeds okay. in it. And we're just gonna make it a little bit sexy. Deep fried basil. Gonna put on top there. Okay, let me just get the olive oil. Yeah. Okay. That one. Right, and then a little bit of just a small little micro herb pipette. Okay, I'm work with me now. <laughs> and then obviously we need to do a little bit of shito. Get some, <laughs> some heat. Okay, right. this is fascinating. So there we have. So, that's it. so we have hummus, that we have one. olive oil, we have the cucumber with the, the tahini. With the, and you have the tahini and, that, so, and then we have our little love pot. And now I'm just gonna, this is this little twills that I always bring that we make. Yes. Yeah. It's so <laughs> easy to make. Do. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna break a little bit of it. I'm gonna add that to our heart over here. Okay. And now, um, I brought you I brought you a rose, but I'm gonna steal some of your petals. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's mine. Is it yours? Okay. <laughs> Just a little bit, it's okay? Because you know a rose is edible, so it doesn't yes, actually yes. have such beautiful flavour to it. And Amazing. Just add that onto our little bit. I hope you all knew that, right? The rose is edible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's so nice. I mean, yeah. just want a little bit of that. And then obviously to go with our, our platter, if you see our colours now. Mm -hmm. It won't be me visiting you guys without a drink. So <laughs> <laughs> let's do a love potion. Okay. All right, okay. all right. So a love potion. Let's get this glasses over here. Okay. Uh, rose petals. Right. I'm not going to use all of it. Don't finish my petals. I'm not going to. Yeah. I promise I won't finish it. <laughs> Unless I'll have nothing for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that goes in there. And then this watermelon hearts yeah. that I have, I'm going to still just add one or two inside. I have two that I cut the outside cut of the water. Out? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I see. You, you really put the blood into this. <laughs> a little bit of ice. 
So what's the name of the cocktail that we're making? Love potion. Love potion. Yeah. So we had some cool peat um, serum here. Yes. And now we have some love, love potion. potion. Yeah. It's, it's really all love. about the love. It's about love. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all about love. Just a little bit of Campari. Yeah, a little bit of Campari is important. Yes, so that yeah. goes in there. Okay. Do okay, another shot. Huh, <sighs> and we called it a good morning. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then lastly, we have a little bit of watermelon syrup. Okay. If you don't have watermelon syrup, you can replace it with any syrup that you have in, in your mm. home or a fruity syrup. Okay. Uh, so watermelon goes in there. Mm. Okay. You can just smell it, it smells so nice. And then Gosh. last but not least, we're just going to top the it ginger up. Ale? A little bit of ginger ale for a lot of Wow. Mushroom. I like how everything is just red yeah. in there. Yeah. It's come together really nicely. Yeah. Just like that on top. Right? Just look at the hearts going. Yes. Yeah. And, then and look at how the petals are floating. Let's put everything together here on a platter. Oh, man. There you got your, oh. yeah. your love bites, guys. Yeah. Yes. And see if we have a. <laughs> so, there you go, there's for some baba boom. This is it, this is it. Yeah, this is some it. baba this boom, very necessary. Very necessary. I love necessary. it, I love it. This is this beautiful. This is good. This is easy. Yeah. So, can you do the, the second... Um, on one more prose. Yeah, yes. one more prose, because Let's, you see... Do we have time for one more? There'll be a lover's <laughs> tiff. There'll be a lover's <laughs> tiff over who gets that one. <laughs> Let's share it. Great, great. Let's do it. I have another one. I was scared we run out of time, but let me do it. No, we have time, we have time. Okay, yeah. great. So, so just repeat it for everyone at home. So okay. we got our cucumber ribbons. Great. Uh, we're going to put the green lines to the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, just as we have it there. And for our green lines, just for aesthetic purposes, yeah. turn it around. Okay. Then we have our cooked prawn. Prawn just... Only thing that we did with the prawn is we just boiled it with a little mm. bit of water, garlic, and okay. shito. Water, garlic, and shito. And some of cheese. Some nice cheese mm. in there. You can use wagashi if you want. Oh, wagashi oh, works. Good. Yeah. Okay. And then we just give it a roll. Wow. Take our stick. Make sure it doesn't come apart. Yeah. And we take our Chinese spoon. Mm -hmm. Take some hummus. That. I like the idea of the base hummus. Yeah. 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 Oh, hummus is so nice. I'm so in yeah. love with hummus. Like, <laughs> and you get I like, so. I, I like that idea <laughs> because it it just makes everything it's healthy. healthy. Yeah, it just know. makes it healthy. Yeah. So. And then you can actually just do this when you have your zatar. Ah, just, you oh, dip so you can just it in. dip it in. You can just dip it in. Okay. Yeah. Just do nice. that. Just do the bottom of it. Then we just place it into our spoon. Right. Gently. So Beautiful. it's the other way around. Yeah. Just that side. Okay. And now we just do our little garnishes. Just that. A bit of our herbs. So a little bit of the shito. Yeah. Just put some spice. And then the. Is that a watercress? That's watercress, yeah. That's, watercress. that's baby watercress. Mm. So fresh, fresh. And there's another one. So no, no fighting now. Okay. <laughs> 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 and there we have it. Nice. <laughs> I, love it. I think now we're ready for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys want your drinks? I know. Always. Can I give you? A no, drink? no. Yes, please. Want to take yes, a please. Yeah, so, okay. yeah. my lady. Okay. I love the idea of yeah. the roses. Yeah, just I'm just thinking about comparing. <laughs> well, it's a good aperitif. Yeah. Oh. Cheers to Valentine's cheers, Day. Cheers to Valentine's Day. Cheers to love. Cheers to love. Yes. And cheers to all viewers. Yes. yes. <laughs> May you have a fantastic Valentine's Day, as beautiful as what my drink looks like in this glass. Right. Yeah. Thank you.
Thank you so much, Thank Chef. So much, it was really sir. nice having Our you pleasure. here. Uh, ladies you. and gentlemen, this is Pietro mm. Milan from Fiesta Royals. But how can people reach out to you on social media? Very easy. They can just go to any of the Fiesta platforms. Mm -hmm. It's either Fiesta Residences or Fiesta Royale. Mm -hmm. uh, send us a message there. Get in connection uh, with us if you need anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we, st we still have some space at both properties for Valentine's today. So if okay. you want to come around, mm -hmm. last minute bookings love are welcome. It. <laughs> yeah. Love it, love okay. it, love it, love it. And, um, People may want to go to your social media handle to yeah. see um, all that happened with the Culinary Olympics as well. Yes. Where, where can they go and see that? Please, my social handle is very easy to get. It's Papa Chef Z A. So uh, Papa, as in uh, Afrikaans one, is yeah. a double P. So mm -hmm. P A P P A. Mm -hmm. Chef C H E F and mm -hmm. Z A in the back. You can catch me on TikTok. Instagram, Facebook, mm -hmm. and uh, we have some funny videos on TikTok, so go check it out. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. Okay. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm.